hardware and networking. Network fundamentals. It refer to the basic concepts, principles, and protocols that govern how computer networks operate. Here are some of the key areas covered in networking fundamentals. 1. Introduction to networks. This includes understanding what a network is, its purpose, and its components, such as nodes, servers, routers, switches, and cables. Introduction to networks is a basic concept in networking that refers to understanding what a network is, its purpose, and its components. A network is a collection of connected devices, such as computers, printers, and servers, that are linked together to share resources and communicate with each other. The purpose of a network is to allow devices to share resources, such as files and printers, and to communicate with each other, such as sending emails or accessing the internet. Networks can be used in a variety of settings, including homes, offices, schools, and data centers. Networks can be classified based on their geographical scope, such as local area networks, LANs, that cover a small area like a home or office, wide area networks, WANs, that cover large geographical areas, and metropolitan area networks, MONs, that cover cities or regions. 2. Network Topologies this refers to the physical and logical layout of a network. Examples of network topologies include star, bus, ring, and mesh. There are several different types of network topologies, including star topology. In a star topology, each device on the network is connected to a central hub or switch. This type of topology is common in Ethernet networks and is easy to set up and maintain. Bus topology. In a bus topology, all devices on the network are connected to a single cable. Data is transmitted along the cable and all devices receive the data, but only the intended recipient processes it. This topology is not as common as it used to be, but is still used in some older networks. Ring Topology In a ring topology, devices are connected in a closed loop. Data is transmitted around the loop until it reaches the intended recipient. This topology is used in some types of fiber optic networks. Mesh topology. In a mesh topology, devices are connected to multiple other devices on the network. This provides redundancy and ensures that data can still be transmitted even if one or more devices fail. This type of topology is common in large-scale networks, such as the internet. 3. Network protocols. These are sets of rules that govern how data is transmitted over a network. Examples of network protocols include TCP, IP, HTTP, DNS, FTP, and SMTP. TCP, IP. This is the most common network protocol used on the internet and is used to transmit data between devices over the internet. TCP, IP consists of two main protocols, Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, and Internet Protocol, IP. HTTP, this protocol is used to transmit web pages and other data over the Internet. It is used by web browsers to communicate with web servers. DNS, the domain name system, DNS, is used to translate domain names, such as www.example.com, into IP addresses, which are used to identify devices on a network. FTP, the file transfer protocol, FTP, is used to transfer files between devices on a network. SMTP, the simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP, is used to transmit email messages between devices on a network. 4. Network hardware. This includes devices such as routers, switches, hubs, and modems that enable communication between different nodes or networks. Network hardware refers to the physical devices that are used to build computer networks. These devices are responsible for transmitting data between different devices in networks. Some of the common types of network hardware include Network Interface Cards NICs. These are used to connect devices to a network and allow them to communicate with other devices. Hubs These are simple devices that allow multiple devices to connect to a network. They are often used in small networks. Switches. These are more advanced than hubs, and they allow devices to communicate with each other directly, instead of sending data to all devices on the network. Routers. These are used to connect networks together, 
and to route data between them. Modems. These are used to connect a computer to the internet, using a phone line, cable, or other connection. Firewalls. These are used to protect networks from unauthorized access, by blocking incoming traffic that does not meet certain criteria. Repeaters. These are used to extend the range of a network, by amplifying and retransmitting signals. Bridges. These are used to connect two separate networks, and to allow them to communicate with each other. Gateways. These are used to connect networks that use different protocols, and to translate data between them. 5. Network security. This refers to the measures taken to protect a network from unauthorized access, attacks, and data breaches. Network security refers to the practice of protecting computer networks and their components, including hardware, software, and data, from unauthorized access, misuse, modification, or disruption. It is an essential aspect of cybersecurity, as networks are often the primary target of malicious actors looking to steal sensitive data, disrupt services, or gain control over systems for malicious purposes. Network security includes various technologies, protocols, and best practices designed to secure networks against a wide range of threats, such as viruses, malware, phishing attacks, denial of service, DOS, attacks, and more. Some common network security measures include Firewalls. These are hardware or software devices that control and monitor network traffic based on predefined security policies. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems IDS, IPS. These are technologies that detect and block suspicious network activity, including unauthorized access attempts and malware infections. Virtual Private Networks VPNs. These are secure communication channels that allow remote users to access a network securely. Encryption. This is the process of converting data into a coded form to prevent unauthorized access or interception. Two-factor authentication, 2FA. This is a security method that requires users to provide two forms of authentication, such as a password and a biometric scan or a one-time code, to access a network. Regular software updates and patches. Regularly updating software and firmware helps to close known security vulnerabilities and reduce the risk of network breaches. 6. Types of networks. Networks can be classified based on their geographical scope, such as local area networks, LANs, wide area networks, WANs, and metropolitan area networks, MONs. A LAN, local area network, is a computer network that connects devices within a limited geographical area, such as a home, office, or school. It is designed to allow devices to communicate and share resources, such as printers, files, and internet access, within the network. LANs typically use wired or wireless connections to connect devices, such as Ethernet cables or Wi-Fi, and are often connected to a router or switch that serves as a central hub for network communication. Devices on a LAN can communicate with each other directly, without the need for an internet connection. A WAN, Wide Area Network, is a computer network that spans a large geographical area, such as a city, country, or even the world. It is designed to connect devices across a wide area, often using telecommunication links such as telephone lines, fiber optic cables, or satellite links. WANs typically connect multiple LANs or other networks, such as data centers or cloud services, allowing devices in different locations to communicate and share resources. A MAN, Metropolitan Area Network, is a computer network that covers a geographic area that is larger than a LAN but smaller than a WAN. MONs may be used by organizations or institutions such as universities, hospitals, or government agencies to connect multiple buildings or departments within a city or metropolitan area. 7. Network Models. These are frameworks that describe how data is transmitted and received over a network. The two most commonly used models are the Open Systems Interconnection OSI, model and the Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol TCP, IP, model. 8. Network Addressing. This refers to how devices on a network are identified and communicated with. This is typically done using unique identifiers such as IP addresses and MAC addresses. IP Address. An IP, Internet Protocol, 
Address is a unique numerical identifier assigned to each device connected to a network that uses the Internet Protocol for communication. It serves as a virtual address that enables devices to communicate with each other over the Internet or other IP-based networks. IP addresses are either IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. IPv4 addresses are 32-bit binary numbers, typically represented in dotted decimal notation, such as 192.168.0.1. IPv6 addresses are 128-bit binary numbers, typically represented in hexadecimal notation, such as 2001-0db8-85a3-0000-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001-0001